Top Class Racing is set to take place at Rose Hill on Saturday, and the stable has a strong hand across the card. Tropical Squall is looking for back-to-back -back Group 1 wins in the Coolmore Classic for Gory Park Stud. She gave us all such a huge thrill when winning the Group 1 surround stakes at Ramwick two weeks ago. Are you confident that she can get the job done again on Saturday? Yeah, look, she looks to have held her form really well. Um, she's, she's, uh, she's in great shape, uh, and I think she's certainly got the ability to, to be winning once again. Uh, she is taking on uh, the Open uh, or the older, older Mares uh, for the first time in, in her career, so that's always a difficult thing to do, uh, but she's obviously a, a very talented filly, uh, one of the best of her generation, so looking forward to uh, the challenge on, on Saturday. I think she run very well. The Vampires and Rafa Tack will take their place in the Group 2 Farlap Stakes over 1,500 metres. The Vampires is backing up after an excellent run in the Group 1 Ramwick Guineas last weekend. He battled gamely down the straight and was very brave at the finish to not be beaten far on the line. Rafa Tack had no luck in running whatsoever for a stop, so we can expect to see an improved performance from him on Saturday. Yeah, we can most certainly see an improved performance from, from Rafa Tack. Um, we can look to be more positive from him. He still does have a... Not an easy draw for him, but uh, certainly uh, can be more forward than what we've seen him previously. He's taken nice improvement from that run, uh, but he will continue to improve as he gets over further uh, later in the campaign. Uh, La Vampire is coming off the back of uh, two excellent runs uh, in, in Stakes Company. I uh, thought he's been uh, run very well, uh, been right around the mark. So uh, on the quick backup, I don't see as a concern for him. He's fit and well and, and looks to be an ideal race. Omni Man will contest the Group 3 Maurice McCartan Stakes over 1,100 metres with jockey Tim Clark booked to ride. He hasn't missed a beat since his terrific second place finish at Rose Hill a fortnight ago and he is holding his condition extremely well. Yeah, I thought it was an excellent run there second up. He, he showed the necessary improvement that we wanted to see off the back of his first up run. Um, just showed, uh, I think, the 1,100 metres is a suitable distance for him, this preparation. Um, Tim Clark remains with him, uh, knows him well and I think he's trained on nicely. Um, so we can see, continue to see the improvement from him on Sunday. Just Fine has taken nice improvement in his track work since his first up run, and he appears to be sharper and tighter in condition. The step up and trip to 2,000 metres in the Group 3 Sky High Stakes should enable him to get into a much better rhythm, and we expect the extra distance to bring about further improvement. Yeah, no doubt a few of those factors will, will well and truly be in his favour. Uh, just coming back from uh, a sharp or uh, Group 1 performance at Wait for Age over the mile, um, not an easy race for him to, to resume in, uh, but I, I think we can see that that improvement come Saturday. Uh, the 2,000 metres ideal and obviously stepping back in grade. Um, different conditions here. He's carrying a little bit of, bit of weight for his performances last campaign, but I think he looks very well placed to, to take that sharp improvement. You have three talented Colts looking to secure their win and you're in ticket to the Golden Slipper in the Group 3 Pago Pago Stakes. A node for Evergreen Stud, Johnny the Kid for John Singleton and the 300 for Trilogy and Connections. Talk us through their chances. Uh, a, a note I thought was excellent first up at the 1,000 metres. Um, he's had a trial in between and, and shown real nice improvement. He'll really appreciate stepping out the 1,200 metres. Um, he looks proven in this grade before uh, is an excellent chance. Uh, Johnny the Kid on, on a relatively short turnaround. He was very good on debut, just beaten over the narrowest of margins, but I, I think he'll take plenty of improvement from that from that experience. Uh, enjoy the step up and trip in the bigger track here. Um, as will the 300, he raced over a 1,000 metres, just had him a bit out of his comfort zone. Uh, he's stepping up to the 1,200. He's had a trial in between and the blinkers go on. So um, certainly a few factors there that can see him improving sharply. Turning our attention to the Phillies, Chateau Miraval and Southern Charm will also be looking for their spot in the Golden Slipper when they step out in the Group 3 Magic Knight Stakes. Chateau Miraval ran a nice race in her last start at Group 2 level, and Southern Charm was impressive in her last start to break her maiden over 1,100 metres for Henderson Racing and Breeding. Yeah, I thought excellent excellent performance from Chateau Miraval there last start. Uh, I thought stepping up in that grade, just at her second start, I, I thought she stuck on very well. I think she'll continue to improve, and I think she'll appreciate the track at, at Rose Hill. Southern Charms, uh, well raced. Uh, we have tested her uh, at this company before. Uh, some good form around her. Uh, it was very pleasing to see her uh, bounce back uh, there last start. She uh, she was impressive the way that she settled throughout and, and strong late when, when needed. So she's up in grade once again, uh, but, but I do feel she's a filly going the right way. Ambassadorial is the stable sole runner at Caulfield and he appears to be in top shape after a second place finish at Pakenham a fortnight ago. He's drawn well in barrier three with Jordan Childs in the saddle. Can he get the job done in the Vobis Gold Reef? 
Yeah, he's a horse that's shown nice improvement to bounce back there last start. Um, I, I feel he's always had plenty of ability, this horse. Uh, he, he's progressed nicely. And it looks to be ideal conditions for him on Saturday. So um, I, I do think we can continue to see an upward curve from him.